In this school in Sana'a, it's business as usual. But other establishments across Yemen's capital have remained shuttered. The Iran-backed Houthi rebels controlling the city are no longer paying staff salaries. And teachers have gone on strike in protest. Teachers are facing several difficulties at the moment. One of them is that they haven't been getting their salaries. And most of them have no other source of income. UNICEF estimates 78% of all of Yemen's schools have been hit by the salary crunch, with many unable to open yet. Teachers say they will stick to their strike in the year to come. Nearly three quarters of them across the country have not been paid for 12 months. They committed to giving us half our salary, but we teachers don't want half a salary. We want our full salary, as well as our full salaries for the past months. Despite all this, we came to teach for one week or two, and we'll wait and see what they do with these commitments. Yemen is three years into a war between the Houthi rebels and a government backed by Saudi Arabia. And war, hunger and an economic collapse have left millions struggling to survive. Our families are really struggling. They have to buy school supplies for us, but there are no salaries. We want them to deliver the salaries for everybody. Nearly 500 schools have been destroyed by the conflict, repurposed as shelters or commandeered by armed factions, in a war that has killed thousands and pushed the country to the brink of collapse.